Have you ever thought about using artificial intelligence in your lessons? I know talking about AI may sound a bit far-fetched and a thing of science fiction even, but AI is fast becoming a part of our lives, and why not a part of learning? I'm Rubens Zareja, one of your Pavilion EOT vloggers, and in our 2023 video series we'll be looking at different resources we can use to make our lessons more effective, engaging, and fun. And in this video, I'll share with you five ways in which you can use artificial intelligence AI, in our lessons. Want to know how? So come with me. Technology changes fast, even faster than my hairstyle, and new trends are coming up more and more often. Did you notice the trend of posting AI-enhanced pictures at the end of 2022? Did you see any posts, news, or on podcasts on ChatGPT? Artificial intelligence has improved tremendously in recent years. AI can offer a range of benefits for education, such as personalized content and feedback, and new ways for students to interact with the material. Many of the uses, such as leveling students, marking written assignments, and detecting plagiarism, are being tried by organizations, but there are many applications to our everyday classroom time. Before we dive in, just a little disclaimer. Parts of the script for this video were written by artificial intelligence, not me. Let's see if you can identify them. So let's cut to the chase. Tip number one, use chatbots to create texts for your lessons. Are you tired of using the same old texts over and over? ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool that can generate text based on a written prompt. You can use ChatGPT to create text for reading activities or for language presentation in your lessons. For example, you could type in a prompt like create an 100 word text in which a person describes their best traveling experiences. Make sure five sentences use the present perfect tense, and ChatDDP would generate a unique text for you to use. This can be a useful way to add variety to your lessons and to engage students through texts that were designed exclusively for that group. According to an article by Mike Hogan for English Teaching Professional, with advances in machine learning, Thomas Frey has predicted that learners will one day be taught by intelligent robots who will be able to personalize learning better than teachers can. When or whether this will happen is open to debate. The one thing is certain, we need to be creating content which is adaptable and can be personalized to individual needs, perhaps by the learners themselves. One way to personalize the experience even more, and that can be lots of fun, is to ask students to design the prompts and get the AI to create stories about themselves, their groups, or even their teacher. And we should brace ourselves because they might use it to create essays and other writing tasks that we assign as well. Tip number two, use AI to create unique images. Another way to use artificial intelligence in your English lessons is to have students create prompts using vocabulary they've learned in class and use an AI tool like DALI to generate corresponding images. DALI is an AI system that can generate original images based on a written prompt. This can be a fun and interactive way for students to practice their vocabulary and explore the creative potential of AI. You can create the images or students can. Here are some suggestions on things students can do involving AI-generated images. Guess the topic of the lesson based on an image, create images using prompts with the target language, guess the prompt based on the image, create images that summarize the text, a recording, or even the entire lesson, and discuss whether the images can be considered art. Also, if you're like me and usually spend a lot of time trying to find images on Google that would fit the leading activity you designed, let's say, an image of a horse trying to get into a tiny house, tools like DALI can help you save a lot of time and create exactly what you want. Tip number three, use chatbox to practice writing. You have probably used chatbox, maybe without even knowing. Chatbox are computer programs designed to simulate conversations with human users, especially over the internet. They can be integrated into messaging apps, mobile apps, or websites, and are used for a variety of purposes, including customer service, information gathering, and entertainment. Many businesses use this chat box to answer frequently asked questions and handle customer complaints, for example. In English classroom, chatbots can be a useful tool for practicing writing skills in English. In a great article for English teaching professional, Flora Flores, Eunique Suzeno, Elara Ananda, and Irene Hia suggest five great activities using chatbox, some as simple as allowing some time for students to talk to the AI about a specific topic and report back to the group. 
According to them, the potential value of a chat box is immeasurable, especially given the progress that technology has made in the last 10 years. One of a chat box's strong points is the convenience it offers, being readily available at any time to students with internet access, and generally for free or with affordable subscription. Two examples of chat box that have at least some functionalities free are Cookie AI and Andy. Andy was designed to help English learners, so he can even help with vocabulary and grammar in the premium accounts. Cookie, on the other hand, is a more fun AI to interact with. Tip number four, use dictation tools to practice pronunciation. AI-assisted speech recognition is a technology that uses artificial intelligence to transcribe spoken words into written text. It works by analyzing the sound waves of a person's voice and using machine learning algorithms to match those sounds to words in a dictionary. One of the benefits of using AI-assisted speech recognition is that it can help students practice the pronunciation by providing real-time feedback on their spoken language. According to Robin Walker, today's technology also allows teachers to give individualized feedback. This is especially meaningful if the teacher includes advice on how to correct problems. But for the moment, as standalone learning devices, especially in terms of self-directed tuition, current technologies do not do everything a trained teacher does. If you have an Alexa or use Siri services, you're already using speech recognition software. And many of our students already use them in their first language. So it's a matter of convincing them and helping them develop the habit of doing it in English instead. For more extended dictation and practice, Google Doc and Microsoft Word have voice dictation tools that are super easy to use and do not require downloading a new app or learning how to use a new software. Tip number five, let students create their own chatbots. One option for more tech-savvy students is to encourage them to get creative and build their own chatbots. This can be fun and educational way for students to explore the potential of AI and apply what they've learned in a hands-on way. Websites like machinelearningforkids.co.uk can be a helpful resource for students to learn about machine learning and create their own chatbots using simple programming and practicing their English as they go. Creating simple chatbox would probably require using more than one lesson, and you would probably need to familiarize yourself with the tools as well, so it's probably best to use it as a project if you use project-based learning or PBL, or as part of a Clio program. This type of project can be especially engaging for students who are interested in technology, and it can also be a great way for students to learn about programming and develop their coding skills. I hope these tips help you feel more confident using artificial intelligence in class, and hopefully add more variety and more engagement to your lessons. Do you already use artificial intelligence? Did you manage to identify the parts of the script that were written by artificial intelligence? Let us know in the comments below. And you can also contact me on all social media at WhatIsELT. Keep learning and keep teaching.